attract the perfect relationships, even in business. We're reading the magic today. Um, this one you're supposed to do before you go to sleep or prepare at least for tomorrow for this chapter. So this is uh, day three, magical relationships. This is our episode eight. So if you press um, hashtag Georgia, reading the magic with Georgia Williams, you'll be able to see all the previous episodes with this new series that we're doing. Hi, Penny. God bless you. We have a viewer. So um, I'm going to begin to read it. So we're talking about, you know, fixing relationships, attracting relationship. And this is all relationships, business, family, love friends okay so it says imagine if you were the only person on earth you would have no desire to do anything what would be the point in creating a painting if no one could see it what would be the point in composing music if no one could hear it what would be the point in inventing anything if there was no one to use it. There would be no reason to move from one place to another because wherever you went would be the same as wherever you were. No one would be there. There would be no pleasure or joy in life. So I think about that, like if I was to not have my family around, not have my certain friends around, you know, what, there would be no joy. No joy. My certain business partners, my fa uh, certain family members, especially my children. I absolutely love them. If your contact and experiences with other people that give your life joy, meaning, and purpose, it's them. It's those contacts. Because of that, your relationships affect your life more than anything else. To receive the life of your dreams, it's vital that you understand how your relationships affect your life now and how they are the most powerful channels for gratitude to start magically changing your life. So I feel that totally. You ever have a relationship and it's not going well and it's affecting your whole day, it's affecting your life, even though you have to learn to not let certain things affect you, but that happens. So it says, science is now confirming the wisdom of the great sages of the past. With research studies showing that people who practice gratitude have closer relationships, are more connected to the family and friends, and have other people look upon them favorably. But probably the most astounding statistic that has come out of research studies is that for every one complaint about another person, whether in thought or word, there have to be 10 blessings for the relationship to flourish. Any, then, any less than 10 blessings for every one complaint and the relationship will deteriorate. And if the relationship is a marriage, it will most likely end in divorce. So what it's saying, if you had one complaint, you need to think of 10 blessings. 10 good things, 10 blessings from that relationship. Gratitude makes relationships flourish. As you increase gratitude for any relationship, you will magically receive an abundance of happiness and good things in that relationship. And gratitude for, for your relationships doesn't change only your relationships. It also changes you. So true. I have so many experiences with that. No matter what your temperament, temperament is now, gratitude will give you more patience, understanding, compassion, and kindness to the point where you won't even recognize yourself. The little irritations you once felt and the complaints you had in your relationship will disappear. Because when you are truly grateful for another person, 
There's nothing you want to change about that person. You won't criticize, complain about, or blame them because you're too busy being grateful for the good things about them. In fact, you won't even be able to see the things you used to complain about. So that's so true. I've seen it in my own life. Little things that have irritated me, little things that have upset me. It's like, it doesn't bother me. I don't care. And I can easily overcome it. And I and every time some somebody upset me or every time I went through something certain, I would just be like, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I always praise God and I thank God. So if you're having um, a belief in God, if you are religious, you can say thank you, God. If you're not religious, you can say thank you, thank you, universe. Um, you know, you always put it towards uh, something and it just, it comes back to you so much more. And I would say, if I was upset, I would say about that person, if that person was upsetting me, I would say, thank you, thank you, thank you for them being this way or this way. I would thank God for all the things that I see that this person do is doing good. Even though they're having their shortcomings, even though they're having their issues, I would thank God for all of the good things that they've done. Or, and I would even thank God for, you know, the tiny little bit, the tiny little bit of um, them being good at that certain thing that they're irritating me about. But at least there's a tiny little bit of them <clears throat> doing good with it or, you know, whatever, without going on and on about somebody certain or about a situation. The fact is, is, the more grateful you are, the more you're going to see that relationship flourish. It's so true. <clears throat> so it says here, we can only, it's a, this is a quote, we can only be said to be alive in those moments when our hearts are conscious of our treasures. And that's Thornton Wilder, writer and playwright. It says, words are very powerful. So when you complain about any person you actually harm your life. It is your life that will suffer. By the law of attraction, <clears throat> by the law of attraction, whatever you think or say about another person, you will bring it to you. This is the very good reason why the greatest minds and teachers of the world have told us to be grateful. They knew that for you to receive more in your life, for your life to magically increase, you will have to be grateful for others just as they are. What if every person close to you said, I love you just the way you are, how would you feel? Today's magical practice is being grateful for the people just as they are. Even if all your relationships are currently good, they will increase with even more magnificence through this practice. And with everything you find to be grateful for in each person, you will see gratitude perform. It's breathtaking magic. And your relationship will be stronger, <clears throat> more fulfilling, and more enriching than ever thought, than you could ever thought it could be. So you got to listen up for this. So it says, <clears throat> choose three of your closest relationships to be grateful for. You might choose your wife, <clears throat> your son, your father, your, or your boyfriend, your business partner, and your sister. You might choose your best friend, your grandmother, or your uncle. You can choose any three relationships that are important to you as long as you have a photograph of each person. The photograph can just be of the person or both of you together. Once you have selected your three relationships and photographs, you are ready to set the magic into motion. <clears throat> Sit down and think about 
Think about all the things you are most grateful for about each person. What are the things you love most about this person? What are the best qualities? You could be grateful for their patience, ability to listen, talents, strength, good judgment, wisdom, laugh, sense of humor, eyes, smile, or kind heart. You could be grateful for the things you enjoy doing with the person. You can recall a time when the person was there for you, cared for you, or supported you. This is so, like, it's just so special. It's so, um, it makes you free. It does, it's like liberating. It's like, it makes you consciously aware of your feelings for that person and it brings up such good memories good moments and it makes you think of all the good things and and it just removes all the negative things that you may have had towards this person any negative thoughts any negative feelings it helps you to regain uh, back that relationship because if you're thinking of this person you obviously had a relationship with this person you obviously was on good terms you obviously want things to get better you don't want no more animosity you don't want no more negativity so with that being said, watch the magic happen <laughs> because this book is incredible. Even in business, like I am an online business owner, coach, mentor, I help people. Um, I give tips. I'm, I'm doing so many different things right now. And there's so many people I'm meeting on a regular basis. And there's so many good relationships I have. I'm going to be honest with you. And when I started to do these this practice so many relationships started to get better in my surroundings with my family with my children with my surroundings so certain things that you know I would find myself hollering at the kids or you know get upset now it's like they are who they are love them as they are and understand that th everything that you're going through or everything that they're going through or whatever it is that they're having trouble in or that it's affecting you you can choose to let it affect you you can choose to let it get you upset it's your choice you can just simply throw it away the thought throw it into a garbage can imagine it and just imagine all the good things that's good about them is it they're sweet they're honest they're caring they're an artist they're successful um, they're great with the children, whatever the, the case may be, or whoever it is that you're thinking about. Are they giving you lots of tips in your business? Is it a, a boss? Um, you know, have they trained you well? And you, but you're, you feel like, you know, they're just getting you nervous lately, whatever it is, this will help you. So it says, um, after you spent some time thinking about what you're grateful for about that person, Put their photograph in front of you and with a pen and notebook or on your computer, choose five things you are most grateful for. Look at the photograph of the person as you make your list of five things. Begin each sentence with the magic words, thank you. Address the person by name and then write what you're grateful for. So it's, it's given an example. It says, Thank you, and then you put their name for what? So for an example, you could say, um, thank you, Alita, for praying for me all the time and bringing my spirits high. You know, this is just what a wonderful person. Being like your mom. Yeah, being like my mom. Just a wonderful person, one of my very close friends that's like a mom to me. God bless her. It says, for example, Oh, now it's given another example. Thank you, John, for always making me laugh. Or thank you, Mom, for supporting me through college. When you finish your list for all three people, continue this magical practice by taking the photographs with you today and putting them in a place where you will see them often. Whenever you look at the photographs today, thank the person by saying the magic words, thank you, and the person's name. Thank you, Haley. Let's just give an example. If you're welcome, if you're moving around a lot, 
Carry the photographs with you in your bag or pocket and make an effort to look at the photograph three times during that day following the same procedures. So you're going to follow the same procedures. You're going to look at the photograph and you're going to continue to say thank you for certain situations, certain five things. Times, five things you're thankful for. Yeah, five things you're thankful for. But those five things that you're thankful for, you got to write them down. So it says, now you know how to use gratitude's magical power to transform your relationships into magical relationships. Although it is not part of the requirement of this book, you may want to take this amazing practice and use it every day if necessary to make every relationship you have magnificent. Who wouldn't want to have a magnificent relationship in every relationship? You can use it on the same relationship as many times as you want. The more you can be grateful for the good things in your relationships, the faster every relationship in your life will miraculously change. So now it's giving you the steps, what to do. You know what I will do is I will copy and paste these steps into this post. So if you look into the comments or if you look, if you press more into the um, heading of this, uh, of this practice, you will see the practice. So practice number three, magical relationships. Number one, repeat steps one to three of magic practice number one. So that's my episode, I think it was episode number five, count your blessings. So count your blessings is make a list of 10 blessings, write why you're grateful, reread your list, and at the end of each blessing, say thank you, thank you, thank you, and feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. Number two, choose three of your closest relationships and collect a photograph of each person. Number three, the photo, the photo, with the photo in front of you, write five things you are most grateful for about each person in your journal or on a computer. Number four, begin each sentence with the magic words, thank you. Include your name and what you're specifically grateful for. Number five, carry the three photographs with you today or put them in a place where you see them often. Look at the photograph on at least three occasions. Speak to the person's face in the photograph and thank them by saying the magic words, thank you, and their name. So example, thank you, Haley. Before you go to sleep, take your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you, for the best thing that has happened during this day. I know it sounds like a lot and you may forget it, but come back to this post and reread it. The magical practice number two was the magic rock. I read that the previous episode, episode seven. So yeah, episode six is uh, magical practice number one. Um, but it's simply, it's easy. You wake up in the morning, you write down your 10 gratitudes, whatever you're grateful for and why you're grateful for them. Reread them and then say thank you at the end of, each, of reading each one out loud is even better. It's more, you know, enforcing it and bring it out to the universe. Then you do the three pictures and um, the rest of this I will, I will post in here. So God bless everybody's day. I know that this will help you. You know, a lot of times, like what I see as an entrepreneur, what I see as an online business owner, and a mentor and coach. I see so many people falling behind in their business, behind in branding themselves, behind in getting themselves out there. Why? A lot of times it has to do with their situation, their current situation in their life. It has to do with their relationships. It has to do with uh, what they're, what's going on in their private life. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. Some people do, some people say, some people admit, and um, I'm there for, for my mentees. And, um, you know, I, I, when I help somebody, I help them with my heart and my soul. And to just say that I'm just helping them business-wise, or I'm just, oh, it's all about business, that's not the truth. I actually will ask them, are you okay? 
how are you? Um, if you need me, I'm here for you. And we're all like that. We're a big family in our online business community. But I will tell you, I've seen so many people have setbacks because of relationships. Setbacks because they, their boss got them upset. Setbacks because their wife or husband. Um, setbacks because they're having uh, a marital problems. They're having problems in their uh, uh, friendships or whatever the case may be. Um, even somebody passing, you know, that's a dear, but still, you know, to cope with certain things and uh, to get your mind on track. This book is so, 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 so good. It's not a joke. It's not just, you know, something that I would advise lightly. I advise strongly, get a copy of this book. It'll change your life. And uh, I'm really, really grateful that I've been following these and I see so many blessings since I started to reread this because I read this a couple times so far. But rereading it through thoroughly, again, it's awesome. So work on your relationships. Start this practice. And you'll see that things just happen ever so perfectly. And mm -hmm. you're in a better mood. You, you're more energetic. You're more out there. You're, you, you feel empowered. Yeah, like my mom. That's my daughter. I was, um, like, feeling really down. And as soon as my mom stopped telling me about this, I feel so much better. You see? Um, I'm sorry, I'm chewing, but I use this gratitude a lot. Like, if I get my favorite food, I'm like, thank you so much. Like, I'll be so incredibly thankful. Come say it. hi. And then I'll, I'll get the food a hundred times. Like, like, I'll get it, like, a whole bunch of times again. <laughs> this is my beautiful daughter. Hi. And you know what? She often uses uh, gratitude, just like she's saying, to help her in whatever she does. And, um, you know, even reading her scriptures, you know, she's, she knows, you know, there's certain hidden... I involve God. Yeah, she involves God. There's, there's hidden things in the Bible. A lot of people don't see it. And a lot of people look at, uh, like, God and Jesus and the Bible, like... Oh, like some people look at it as scary. Some people look at it, oh, it's just man-made religion. Some people look at it as a certain thing where mm -hmm. it's all about um, structure and you yeah. just, you have to read your scriptures and you have to do this and you have to. It's a it, love letter. It's not a real book. Exa exactly. Just like Meadow said, it's all about love and it teaches. If you read in between the lines of what Jesus is teaching, it's all about manifesting your dreams. It's all about having faith in who you are. It's all about talking that we have so much power as long as we believe. If we believe and if we actually use our minds, they say we don't we don't use our mind. They say we hardly use the, the percentage of our mind. There's there's only a tiny percent that we really use of our brain. If we use all our mind and our heart and our soul and we put it into something and we have faith in it and we know it's going to be there. Because we know that we're an incredible being here on earth. We know that we are placed here for a certain purpose. And we're going to drive it. And we're going to go above and beyond. And we're not going to let no nothing get to us in relationships. We're going to be grateful for them. For meeting that person. For all the things that that person may have did in our lives. May have brought in our life. We meet everybody for a reason. I 100% mm -hmm. believe that. God didn't make you to be alone. Exactly. So God bless everybody. I will see you guys again with magic and maybe pop in here and there. So have a great day, great evening, great night, whenever you guys watch this.